Well, young girl. And the lives of all the children shall be mine! <laughs> Butcherson? Lost soul? Billy Butcherson was Winifred's lover, but she found him sporting with her sister Sarah. So she poisoned him and sewed his mouth shut with a dull needle so he could. <laughs> Dead. My soul's finally free. You freed me, Danny. Thank you. Nine people died in Hocus P Hocus, and most of them were the Sanderson sisters. The victims include seven female and two male, and all giving us a very rare, very unlikely, mostly female pie chart, even though most of them are the Sanderson sisters again. With a runtime of 96 minutes, that comes out to a kill on average about every 10.666 minutes. Wait a minute. The Golden Chainsaw Award is easily going to Winnie Fred Sanderson. I mean, come on, she turns into a statue, then blows the frickin' up. I mean, how can you beat that? I know this movie is PG-13, but dang, is that a great kill. The Dull Machete is easily going to Emily Banks who just got her youth sucked out like she was a Capri Sun. It was still pretty traumatizing to watch when you were younger. Before you leave the video, I need to let you know some things. So, in case you didn't know, this video was picked from a collection of randomly picked letters. Whichever letter was picked the most would be a kill count. A was the most picked one letter. So, you got the Hocus Pocus kill count. So, I'm here to tell you what you could have got. From whatever that was. Okay, so if if you picked B, you would have gotten the first episode of Murder Drones. From the Glitch production. In case you don't know that, they're from the same dudes who made SMG4. And if you, So I was going to make a kill count on that. But since the next episode is on Halloween, on Halloween, which is... By the way, I'm filming this a day before Halloween... Halloween, you'll probably already see the second episode, so I'm probably gonna have to. So yeah, and you would have gotten the first episode, right, if you voted B, B, and then the next one is Candyman, which I revealed in the comments, which was C, E, E. I'm actually kind of thankful and sad at the same time because I really liked the movie, but it just came out, so I might have been uh, gotten in trouble for that. If you picked D, you would have gotten the original Dracula, made by Universal. And if you picked E, you would have gotten Little Shop of Horrors with M Rick Moranis. So yeah, in case you wanted to know, now time for that outro music you all love to hear. 